Paddy's flat for the weekend camping. We'll just show you around the camp. Just down at the Clarence River here. Just come out Paddy's flat road past Tabulum. Come to the Paddy's flat bridge over the Clarence River. We've turned right up the up the river and followed it a few kilometres and yeah, ended up on this spot here. Got the core lighting, 150 watt solar panel out. Battery's nearly full. It's just into an Anderson plug into our second battery. Just got our pantry and cooker here. Got one of the Doble light poles set up in the corner. Charging. Set up a little windbreak wall here on the Fox Wing just to add a bit of extra shade. Rear drawers and drop slide. It's a 60 litre angle fridge. Fairly nice spot, it's just quite rocky, that's all. We ended up coming to Paddy's Flat. We're on our way to Tulum Falls, but it was pretty crowded, and because we haven't had much rain lately, it um, was fairly dry, and the waterfalls weren't much to see at all. We came the long way around but the normal way to get here would be heading west out of Casino, go through Tabulum and you turn up onto Paddy's Flat Road and you're going to follow that for a fair while before you get to here but um, you'll come to a old timber bridge. Basically when we got to that bridge there's a few tracks that lead off either side of it to different campsites but we took the first right before the bridge and just followed the river along. Before the bridge you'll come across the World War II tank traps on the side of the First impression of Tulum Falls, um, it's a fairly nice spot, especially for a free camp. Um, it's just got basic like drop toilets and stuff like that. Um, it'd be a lot nicer with a bit less people and after some rain to really get the waterfall flowing. Pretty good for a free camp. The ground being so rocky makes it a bit hard to you know, peg lines out. Um, really private, really quiet, nice and secluded. Water's nice. Potential to do a bit of fishing, that sort of thing. My impressions of Tulum Falls was yeah, same type of thing. The campsites were quite small and as you drive in, everyone can sort of see everyone else and your campsites aren't really that private, along with the water flow. We haven't had much rain for a while, so it's been pretty dry. The waterfall wasn't really flowing fast at all. Here where we are now at Paddy's Flat, um, other than it being a bit uneven and rocky, the level that you're on as opposed to the water is quite good. It's not a really long walk down to the water. The water is really nice. It's still a little bit low at the moment, but 
it's not too far to go if you just want a bit of a swim and you don't get too hot coming back up. It's probably one of the nicest places we've stayed that's not too far from home.